they need to learn to save us from disasters. There is a one appliance that they don't know about. But if you need a picture, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a picture, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a picture, please don't let their secret out. The helicopter. It's very important, and I need your advice. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. Oh, girls, I can hardly wait to see this. Here it goes. Hey there. Where did you get a helicopter? Professor Eugenie threw it away, but we, we fixed it. Come fly with us. Hop in. There's no way. We're busy. Doing what? Got it, no problem. Now back to our job. <laughs> Stop it right now! You're bothering us! And and you're going to fall! Land on helicopter! We can't do it! But you're flying it! Why can't you land it? Because there's a controller! Digit's our pilot! Digit, fly on! Uh, uh. <laughs> Helicopters fly with the help of propellers. The biggest one is called the main rotor blade. When the engine turns it, the rotor pushes the air with such a powerful force that it lifts the helicopter up off the ground. Of course, helicopters can't fly as fast as airplanes but they have the ability to easily land on a small patch of ground. And unlike airplanes, helicopters can hover in the air for a long time and even fly backwards. Digit, turn us to the left. Huh? <laughs> Hang on. This is one amazing rotor-driven machine. Leonardo da Vinci himself had a design for one. And now look who's controlling it. It really is impressive. You're a total ace on that controller. And so smart. And brave. <laughs> the girls really like boys like that. That's how I roll. Sure, yeah, you're great. Now land it. Digit! for you distracting our pilot, everything would have been okay. A real pilot, you know, shouldn't get distracted. And first he has to learn how to fly on a simulator. Right, Digit? Uh-huh. That's true, but we don't have one. Don't go anywhere. Airplanes, helicopters, trains, and even cars are complicated machines that can be a challenge to navigate. And if you don't watch what you're doing, you can easily end up having an accident. That's why future pilots, train operators, and drivers all take comprehensive training classes that include learning how to fly a plane or drive a train using simulators. This, for instance, is an exact copy of a cockpit, only without wings and with screens for windows. You pull the controller and the cabin moves the way it would if you were actually taking off. And on the screens, the Earth is racing under the clouds. It takes your breath away. Commercial pilots are required to take part in many simulations like this before they're allowed to pilot a real airplane. Our pilot simulator is ready to go. Oh, wow. And I'll be the first one to try it. Here we go. Ah, uh, kids. Right, Digit? 
I'm only going over there just to take a look. Uh, you know how those two can behave. I'll just watch them. It's my turn again. Hey, wait! It's my turn now! Boys are just silly. They're never serious. They just joke around. <gasps> Speaking of serious, we have some important business to take care of. <gasps> You're right! I can't figure out where I should put them. What about on the pack mat Oh, that's a very serious problem. Yeah. This is really important, not something silly like those boys are doing. The Coffee Maker. Tadish! Hi there, Tom Thomas. Are you ready for school? Uh-huh. And you? I'm helping Masia today for school. Three more patients? How in the world can I do it all? I have that new equipment being delivered, and I'm leading this week's case presentations. Oh well, somehow I'll have to figure out how to do it. Um... Good morning. Yeah, just great, huh? I got work piled up to the ceiling. Okay, a cup of coffee is the only thing that can save me today. Now what? The last thing I need is to be late. The coffee maker started its cleaning cycle. She'll have to wait. <clears throat> What's the problem? Why don't you work? Are you going to work or what? <clears throat> oh, the poor coffee maker. Oh, Tom Thomas's poor mother. That's enough. Work already. <laughs> what is going on today? <laughs> hey, Mom, come on. Let me give it a try. I can't take any more of this. We've got to help her. I really hope nothing broke in there. Don't worry, we'll get it working. Just distract your mom. Mom, and what if the coffee maker just started working again right now? Would that save your day, you think? Mm-hmm. Early coffee makers would do nothing more than heat up the water and force it through the ground coffee. Today's generation of devices are often called coffee machines. They can do so much more and even remove the mineral deposits themselves. These machines can make your coffee any strength and add milk and sugar, if that's how you like it. And most conveniently, they can grind the coffee beans right before brewing. Just press the button and the fresh cup of coffee is ready. And that aroma. The main thing with any coffee maker is to be nice to it. Then you just give it some time and it starts working by itself. That is just absurd. Restarting it is the first step. Simka, get over there and open and close that contact. Mm -hmm. You see? That's what I was talking about. A coffee maker isn't alive. It's a machine, that's all. Then how come you hit it like you did? Hmm. But if you're really nice to it and you pet it... Then she'll purr. Hear that? It liked that a lot. Coffee maker, blink to us when you're ready to start working. Turn on the display. Mm -hmm. See that? It answered us. <gasps> it behaves like it's really alive. Well, coffee maker, make coffee. It's impossible. Tish, time for a little surprise. Just don't give up our secret. You fixed it somehow. What's your secret? It's simple. If you handle appliances with care, then they'll take care of you. <sighs> the magic taste of coffee was first appreciated in Arabia. And that's why the most well-known variety of coffee is called Arabica. Coffee trees grow throughout the world in mountain regions where the weather is warm and humid. The branches of coffee trees get covered with coffee berries. But to make the coffee drink, we don't need the berries, just the seeds inside. After the coffee beans are roasted and then ground, hot water is added. Different cultures serve coffee differently. Some serve it hot, some cold. With sugar, with milk, with ice cream, with cinnamon, with ginger, and even with salt and pepper. They say that coffee gives people energy and helps them from feeling tired. But it's important not to drink too much. Tom Thomas, you're a powerful wizard. <laughs> she believes it. <laughs> it's remarkable. I can't believe it.
believe an ordinary coffee maker can be so emotional. <laughs> Poor thing. Forgive me, huh? And that's not all. If you take care of your coffee maker and you're nice to it, it can even, it can even sing a song. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. <laughs> I've got to be hearing things. <laughs> You've got me under your spell, Tom Thomas. Time to go. <laughs> Augustine. <laughs> oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine. Why did you start singing? Sorry, I got carried away. <laughs> and I got carried away. Sing me that song again, will you? Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. Oh, my dear Augustine, everything's gone. Oh, my dear Augustine, Augustine, Augustine. Oh, my dear. Augustine, everything's gone. <laughs> but if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. 